Hi guys, it's Jeannie again. Um, we're doing the terracotta mixed media pot today. I've already, um, in the last video, showed you how to prepare the pot. And this is what it looks dry, of course. Um, I didn't do all the way the inside. I just gessoed the outside. Okay, and see, see these little, um, I guess they're excess paint. You can sand that off if you prefer it to be nice and smooth. So I don't know if a lot of people know you can sand um, paint and gesso. But be careful because you might do that. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do, the first layer, is I'm going to go through this great paper that I have. And I'm going to see what papers, I already, I picked two papers out that I've already started to look at. So I, I love this one. This is beautiful. It looks very watercolory. Um, I was thinking maybe a third one, but I'm not sure yet. Let me just flip through it. If you guys don't know, this paper is by Jane Davenport. And I, I think this is a little too dark. And I don't want anything personal on there. I just want very watercolory like this. And I think this is pretty, but I think it'll take away from the blue and the, the orange. Now that's gorgeous. I could just do the whole pot in this. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do the two colors. I mean, this is so beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the two colors. And they're not just two colors. There's yellows in here. There's blues and turquoises. And if you can see, they're very beautiful light yellow over here. So there's three or four different colors in there, which is great. So I grab my paper and what I tend to do, I see how much can I use? I just go under the lip. So basically about that much is what I want to tear off. You can go around the whole entire thing and then cut the bottom to make it look you know, very uniformed and all that. I don't like to do that. I'm sorry, I just, it's, this is a very quick, very easy project to do, and I like to apply everything very easily. So what I do is just tear up the paper. This gorgeous paper. <laughs> I'll just tear up the paper into piles that I know can work. Okay. I don't like to have a raw edge like this. I like to tear it off. Normally do that. And I, you know, I do keep these. I know it sounds weird, but I do use it in other mixed media projects. See, it's a raw edge, so I'm gonna tear it up. So once I'm done with all this, it's, it has a white core, if you didn't notice. I like to ink the sides um, with distress ink even. You can even use permanent ink. But I will distress all the sides and then start to place them on. So let me, um, let me cut some up, distress the sides, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show you. I'm almost done with um, inking up my my corners. And all I'm doing, and I'm doing it very messy, I'm just going around each corner. Because as we know, the Distress inks that I'm using um, with this particular project, it is a water base. And so I'm, some of that, like over here, will come off when I um, do my gloss gel. So all I did, because this is, has a white core, I just wanted to put some ground espresso on there, make it pop a little bit more. And some of it will come off when you're putting it on the terracotta pot, and but 90% of it is already stained on the sides. Okay, I did that. I'm gonna put this away. Okay, and then I'm going to start gluing these on. Okay, and 
I'm using a transparent gloss gel to do this because I want to put it on top and I want to put it underneath, kind of like a decoupage. So I'm getting this Prima Art Basics 3D gloss gel and it will be shiny but transparent. Okay, so where is my brush? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's right here. Okay, I get a nice brush. You can also use a regular foam brush. You can use any brush you want. And all I would do is get a, one of the papers. It's glued on. And you know what I was thinking too? I get a ton of um, cups around here because we have Mardi Gras. They throw beads. They throw um, cups at us. So I get a ton of plastic cups and this will be really cool to make your own pots out of plastic cups even. Just make sure you prepare it the way I, I had put down and you should be fine. So I'm just going to place this piece on there, make sure it's nicely on there and it is kind of bubbling, bubbling up so I'm just going to tear it so it could lay on there nice and neat. And that's my goal, to make sure it's nice and flat. You can use, like sometimes I'll use the side of a brush to make sure it's under there. This, the whole thing. It doesn't need per be perfect. Just try not to scar it like I just did. But it really doesn't need to be perfect. This is a fun project, really fast, really kind of neat. And once you get the paper on there, nice and square down there, you can use a brayer also. Just put this right on top. And some of the ink will come off, not a whole lot of it, because it is waterproof. And that's it. And then you go from go to your second piece. See the ink coming off over here. Okay. What I do, I like to do anyway, um, I will overlap. Okay. So let me get the second piece. That'd be kind of cute if you did a whole bunch of pots out of plastic cups. All different sizes and shapes. Okay. So, I like this orange over here. That's pretty cool. So, I don't, I don't want to um, cover that up. So, I'm just going to place this right down. Make sure that's settled. You will get some wrinkling if you're going to go over the edge like I am. It's not a big deal. You can rip it like I did before, or you can um, put it somewhere else, of course. It's, like I said, it's not a big deal. You're trying to put a, a flat piece of paper on something that's round. So I'm going to go back in here and just shape it with my paintbrush. I mean, this is such an expensive tool that I have here. Yeah, I don't know if I can afford all this. So far, this, this whole project has cost me, including the ink, let me see, 10, 11, $12, but... You know, the most expensive thing out of all this is this. It's the 3D gloss gel. And I buy the really big one, which is like $14, $15. So not counting the tools, $10. But I didn't even spend the whole $10 because the paper, you know, you can even use regular newspaper. I only use two sheets out of it. So it's very budget friendly which as you guys know I love okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go around the whole piece 
I'm going to stick my paper on there and I'm going to come back and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Um, so far so good and I'll tell you what I'm going to do after that. Okay, I'll be right back. As you can see, I wrapped the whole thing with all the paper, put the gloss gel um, transparent on when I place it down as a glue and then place it right over the top as a decoupage. So, so far so good. I even put it on the bottom. I don't really want to um, move it too much. And it's okay if you get bubbles like that. It's not a big deal. Sometimes if I'm feeling particularly anal, I guess, <laughs> I get a, um, a sharp knife and I'll, I'll go in and just cut it down and then re-glue it. You can even do that when you're trying to um, go around the edges. But I do want to say, um, when you're gluing this stuff and it takes you a little bit longer, um, like it did me, <laughs> it will get, become tacky. And then you will start to take the paper off and take off the um, distress ink. And you'll get it all over, which is fine. But just be aware, um, of that can occur and also I wanted to say I started when I started doing this um, I started doing one after the other and usually when you're putting a decoupage do it um, like one two and then one right over the top of it just a little var variation when you're putting it on there don't put it all your ducks in a row kind of so I'll be back after um, this dries fully and I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll be, what we will do from here. Okay, thanks for joining me again. Bye.